Hello, this is Eric Jacobson. I'm the Executive Director of the Georgia Council on Developmental Disabilities. And today we're talking about the 2016-2017 Annual Report of the Georgia Council on Developmental Disabilities. This is the second year of our five-year annual plan. The five goals of the Georgia Council on Developmental Disabilities are real communities, employment, education, supporting the publicly funded system, and supporting self-advocacy. We're going to talk about each of those goals and how during this year the Georgia Council on Developmental Disabilities through its grants process and through its work has supported each of those goals. The first goal that we're going to speak about today is employment. The goal of employment for people with developmental disabilities is to make employment the first option for people with developmental disabilities. The Georgia Council on Developmental Disabilities has been working on two different levels. The first is around policy, and we've been working for a number of years around the idea of employment first. We hope to see in the coming years policies such as employment first becoming the policy in the state of Georgia. In addition, we've been working on programs such as Project Search. This is the idea that children, students, have the opportunity to work in places such as hospitals in rotational kinds of opportunities to learn what it means to be in a working environment on a daily basis. In Georgia, Project Search has around 18 different sites across the state in which children are transitioning out of high school into the workplace. The way that we've been working on employment is that we've actually been educating legislators about what it means for individuals when they go to work. We do this through Take Your Legislator to Work Day. This is when individuals with developmental disabilities actually take their legislator to their work site. Individuals invite their legislator, they come to the work site and spend the day with them on their workplace. It's a great opportunity for legislators to actually learn what it means about how important it is for people with disabilities to go to work. The second goal that we'll speak about today is education. The Georgia Council on Developmental Disabilities has been very involved in the issue of inclusive post-secondary education, or IPSI. During the past year, we have worked with our partners, including the Center for Leadership and Disability and others, to expand post-secondary education options for students with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Throughout the state now, there are eight programs in which students with intellectual and developmental disabilities may choose to pursue post-secondary education options. We have been working with our legislators and others to expand both the university and technical college options that students have so they may pursue the education and then the employment options that are available to them. The third goal that we're going to talk about is really around the publicly funded system and really how we've been advocating for more and more options that are available. This year in particular, the Georgia Council on Developmental Disabilities was intricately involved in advocacy for Medicaid. As you may recall, this year Congress was involved in having a conversation about decreasing funding or really eliminating the Affordable Care Act. This meant eliminating or even thinking about reducing the availability of Medicaid for many people. For people with developmental disabilities, this could have been the end for home and community-based services. In Georgia and across the country, people with developmental disabilities and other disabilities rose up. They went to their congressmen, they went to their senators, they went to their legislators and demanded that the Affordable Care Act and that Medicaid be saved. In Georgia, that meant that advocates, self-advocates, stood in front of their legislators' offices and demanded that Medicaid be saved. The Georgia Council on Developmental Disabilities was right there with them. We supported individuals and family members to protest. We, demand, we were with them as they stood and held signs. We were there when they met with their legislators. We used our website our magazine and other tools that we had available to us to reach over a million people 
on a daily basis to let them know that this was an important issue for people with developmental disabilities. It was one of the most important things that we did. And because of our efforts and the efforts of people with developmental disabilities and physical disabilities across the country, Medicaid was saved. This was a really important effort. And because of that, organizations like ADAPT and other disability rights organizations are now an integral part of the civil rights movement across this country. Another form of advocacy that the Georgia Council on Developmental Disabilities supported was we invited Ron Wakefield, the Director of Developmental Disability Services for the Department of Behavioral Health and Developmental Disability Services to come to one of our quarterly council meetings and we actually used Facebook Live which allowed him to talk with people across the state from one spot to talk about what his vision for services were and then to answer questions on Facebook Live. This gave Ron an opportunity to meet with people around the state and then respond to their concerns. We thought this was a great opportunity for all of us to meet one-on-one. -on -one. And we hope to kind of offer these opportunities to other leaders in the community as well. So whether that be with the Georgia Vocational Rehabilitation Agency or uh, special education. We believe this is a way for people with developmental disabilities and their family members to connect with the service system on a regular basis. Finally, the Georgia Council on Developmental Disabilities continues to build on its real community's effort. This is an opportunity to bring people with and without disabilities together to work on those issues that are local, that are important to people in their local communities, and to figure out local solutions to local problems. We believe that through asset mapping, by bringing people together, that they can solve their problems in communities such as Dahlonega, Athens, Savannah, Clarkston, Macon, and LaGrange. They are understanding what brings people together and how they can solve their own problems, whether in food justice issues, whether in looking at roving listening and understanding what all the problems are that exist in their communities. They're solving their local problems and understanding the gifts of everybody that exists in that community. We believe that in the long run, this is how every community can solve their problems and build on the gifts of everybody that lives in that community. And that together, all members of a community can live together, welcome each other, and really understand everyone that lives in that community. The Georgia Council on Developmental Disabilities is proud of the work that it's doing. It's proud of its five-year plan and will continue to build on the work that it's established in the past and the work that it will build on in the future. 2016 through 2017 was just the second year of its five-year plan. We believe that in year three, four, and five, we will continue to see these efforts expand, but we will only be able to do it if you work with us. We are just a small organization with a small budget, but with your help and with your support, we know that we can change the way that Georgia operates for people with developmental disabilities. We believe that we can improve the lives of all individuals with developmental disabilities and their families, but only with your help, with your support, and in collaboration with you. So please, work with us, go to our website, continue to be a part of what we're doing, because only together can we really make it happen.